Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pots, Pants, and Priscilla. Can you say welcome? Oh, there you go, say hi. So, I have my helper, Abigail, here today, who's not gonna eat the ingredients. <laughs> oh, that's garlic. <laughs> Girlfriend, hey, look, she's hungry. I don't feed her around here. So, we are going to make cabbage with kielbasa sausage and some onions sauteed all together it's going to be a quick meal everybody's home they're hungry and they are ready to eat so let's get cooking are you ready can you help me we're going to take this beef smoked sausage cut it up and then can you put that in our frying pan don't eat it you can't eat all the ingredients <laughs> girl so it's hard to have Abby as a sous chef because she likes to taste test everything. This is cooked, don't worry, it's, it's safe. I would not make anything that, like chicken or something like that with her because you just never know, huh? Is it good? Do you approve? Okay, so go ahead and cut your kielbasa. Um, I'm gonna use two packages for our family and we will get that in the frying pan with some bacon and some onion and butter and let it go for a little bit. All right guys, this video is gonna be all over the place because I have a special helper today. So we are gonna use two packages of the beef sausage. We're gonna use a package of bacon, any kind of bacon's fine. One head of cabbage, two yellow onions, some butter, salt and pepper and vinegar. Oh, and our garlic cloves that have been chewed on, but they'll be fine. It's just our family. <laughs> Wendy's. Wendy's? We're having... The girlfriend, you have pots, pans, and Priscilla. We need to put that on your, uh, on your iPad. Wendy's. Rude. Maybe she thinks I look like Wendy from Wendy's. <laughs> is that what it is? Hey, can you come throw the bacon in here, or the butter? Can you come do that? Look, I want you to, hey. Okay, you don't need to feel if it's hot. It's not hot yet. Take this and put it in the pan. Nice, thank you. You wanna take that and put it in the pan, okay? Okay, <laughs> we'll just leave that one. Ah! <laughs> Okay, this is why you're gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit until you, uh, come here, here. Put these in here for me. <laughs> Thank you. We did wash our hands, that's important. Yep, get all. Thank you so much. You should take, feel it with all your fingers. Thank you. <laughs> Luckily we're your family and we love you. Okay, I'll go ahead and cut up this other sausage while you take your first break. <laughs> oh, girl. You're fun to cook with, Ab. Yeah. I love cooking with my kids. You know, it's never going to turn out the way you think it is. Um, it's not going to be a production, that is for sure. But it's just a good time. I don't think you could ever be too young or too old to cook. And it just brings people together in the kitchen and makes everybody smile. I mean, so many people have formed the best friendships and memories around cooking. So get your family in the kitchen with you. It can be a good time. Now, if it's for something special, don't have your family in there. That's when, that's when you don't need all hands on deck. But for just a regular old Wednesday night dinner, Bring them in there. You like sitting across from me? I lost, I lost her. I think she's taking a nap right now. She's a very impatient chef. Um, but you know, I was talking to Asa and I think that it's so fun to hand down recipes to my kids. And I don't know, is that like an old school thing that, you know, comment down below. Do you share your recipes with your kids and get them in there cooking with you? Obviously, we like to go and go to Chick-fil-A and Dunkin' Donuts as a family. We share all those apps because it's 2019. But have we gotten away from like the old school, you know, 
your grandma's recipe. I still owe you guys that broccoli and cheese soup recipe from my grandma, and you're gonna die when you see what ingredients are in it. But comment down below, like, do you make your old fashioned? Are you sharing that with your kids or is that just not a thing anymore? I just wanna know. All right, so we've got our onions, we've got our kibasa going. I'm gonna do our garlic and the bacon. And we'll let that cook for about 15 minutes and then we'll add our cabbage in. Here you go, ma'am. Can you hold this and stir your pot? Stir it up. Good job, keep going. Stir it. Look, you gotta get in there. Are you left-handed or are you right-handed? I feel like you're right-handed. Hey, can you stir? There you go. No, we're not eating, we're stirring. See, like this. Look at mom, come here. You can do that. We're not touching. So Abby likes to put her hand backwards to see if it's hot or not. So that's what she's trying to test right now. So we have to have all, everybody has to be paying attention. Come here. Okay, and she's done. And that's how we'll do it. And she'll just come in and do what she wants to do when she wants to do it. It's not, this is supposed to be fun for her. So I don't want it, I want it to be enjoyable. No. get more aggressive. Take your cabbage. We gotta rinse it off. Ready? Put it under there. Hold it. Hold your cabbage. You gotta spin it. There you go. All right. Pick it up. Pick it up. Put it on the cutting board right here. Thank you. Okay, now we're just gonna cut this. Yes, ma'am. We're not going anywhere. We're cooking. You don't need to go anywhere when you cook. I'm going to Flava Town. <laughs> I'm glad she thinks I'm funny at 14. Do you want this job, Ab? No? Are you on another break? <laughs> Do you smell that over there, Abby? Doesn't that smell good? So this is one of those nice meals, guys, that you just cook in one pot. It's gonna be a little full, but it'll work. And it's low carb, so if you're watching your carbs and sugars, um, the only thing you know you have to watch for is in the sausage, which I believe they have ones that even have lower carbs. But ours is pretty low carb, it's like th three carbs for um, the package, or maybe a little bit more than that, but anyway, it's low carb. So for all my low carb peeps out there. So now we got to get all of this in there, but don't worry. Um, we're just going to do half at first. It will wilt down and then we can add more. And you drop some of it when you go back and forth. I should have just put it in a bowl and carried it over, but you know, living life on the edge, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some vinegar. This is a personal preference. Our family loves vinegar. If you don't, don't use it. We're gonna throw some salt and pepper. This is always linked below. You guys always ask, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? And it's from, um, Asa has it linked below on Amazon, so. All right, go ahead and put your lid on there. And while you're cutting up your other half of your cabbage, you can um, let this go and get happy. You gotta use two hands. Thank you, ma'am. You got one more. Here you go. 
Thank you. Hey, do you want to come see this, Abby? Come here. Look. Come here. So listen, this is hot, okay? So we only touch it with mom. Look. Look at our cabbage. Doesn't that look good? Not impressed. I feel like she'd hit Wendy's on the app again. <laughs> she loves this kind of food. So I'm very thankful that my children are not picky eaters. I don't know how I would do with that. Isaiah was picky when he was younger. So comment down below. Do you have a picky eater or would they eat something like this? Um, he was picky, but the older he's gotten, the better he is. So just keep at it, mom and dad. If they're picky now, they might change. So we don't have a ton more room. That's okay. We're going to make it work with what room we have. Let's pour a little bit more. Let's not, okay, we're gonna taste it. We're doing good. Add a little more salt and pepper. Put your lid on it, let it cook for about 25 to 30 minutes you'll be good to go. Dinner will be ready. Now, if you're not carb watching, if you're not conscious of that kind of stuff, if you don't care, then throw some bread with it. Um, rye or pumpernickel would be really good with this meal. So we will see in a little bit. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Cooking dinner. Hey, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Comment down below and let us know. Do you want to see more of Abigail and Triple P videos? Hey, do you want to do more videos? You do? Okay. Thank you guys so much. Give her a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.